Okay, this one is pretty thin. There are different thickness. This this one is much thicker. So if we need to bring this closer, basically move it to the right, then I need to remove a shim from the right side and put it on the left side. It will make it tighter on this side and it will give it more slack on the right side. So technically it will move it this way to the right where we need it. So that extra shim from the right side Let's just give it a try, see where it takes us. the other way. Now we are at 17. So we added three thousands. Now that I think about it, if I move more shims, put more shims here on this side, it will move the plate out. If I remove shims on the right side, it will bring the plate in, so it will bring this gear to the left. So, you gotta go the other way. This was just a test, I knew it was gonna happen like that. Okay, so again, I'm gonna remove this last one, put it back like it was, check the thickness. Yeah, this one is much, much thinner. Move it this way. All right, ready to go back in. Okay, looks like we are... Should be good, actually. We got an eight which what we had before with the stock diff seven and a half I am happy with this between four and ten eight is just fine now it's good for the seals to go in so we gotta take the plates off again and put the seals in all right before I put the seals on there's one more thing that I want to do and that's to make sure that so we got the lash correct. Got this uh, blue marking compound or paint. Gonna apply it on the ring gear. All right, make sure it's nice and even, both sides of the teeth. I'm gonna give it a spin. actually perfect here you can tell where the contact was made right in the middle so here 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 see the spots right in the middle all right now we're gonna go the other way I'm going the right way use this way Okay, this time they're a bit lower. Also in the middle, but just lower. Right here, here. When I say in the middle, I don't mean on the edge of the tooth. 
or too far in just on the lower part of the tooth but still in the middle well going forward it's not ideal but it's not a, like I mentioned before it's not on the edge of the teeth or too far in it's right in the middle it's just on the lower part of it I checked the, the play we're still at 8,000 I don't want to go any lower I'm afraid it might be too tight I got no play trying to move it back and forth left and right no play at all turns nice and easy some oil in, into the bearings. Turns nice and easy now. We measure the, the play again. Now that all the bolts are torqued to 8 foot-pounds of torque, just gonna recheck it again. And it looks like we're at 8-9, which is fine with me. Alright, gonna put the cover back on, the sensor, the breather, pretty much everything else and it's going to be ready to go back to its home. I did black sand the mating areas on the cover and on the diff. As you can see they are kind of shiny. Remember how the cover looked before? Looks much better now. There's a lot of RTV everywhere. I mean all over the cover on the outside, inside, inside the threads, inside these holes, just too much. Somebody went happy with RTV. I am going to put RTV on both sides of the gasket but very little a thin film is enough
the threads for the exhaust flange. Got some new bolts. When I say new, I mean new to the car. And look at this nice and shiny tip. Check this out. Looking nice. I used aluminum polisher. I can see myself. Exhaust is in. This tip, man. 13 years old. Yeah. This will buff out. <laughs> 